My name is Heinz Ludwig. I'm a hematologist, oncologist working here in Vienna, Austria, and I report for, directly from the EHA meeting here in Vienna. I would just uh, comment uh, on three studies. One by uh, Teresa Aklagi. She looked at uh, more than 300, roughly 350 uh, patients with smoldering multiple myeloma, and about 65 had a um, uh, free light chain ratio of 100 or higher. And the question is, uh, uh, what is the time to progression in those patients with free light chain ratio uh, higher, 100 or higher? Because that is relevant, because according to the consensus guidelines, those patients are candidates for early treatment. So what she did and what was surprising is that the outcome uh, was uh, completely different uh, compared to the data which are, were available when the consensus was uh, written. Uh, namely, the time to progression was about, I think, 23 months or even longer. Uh, so what does this indicate? Um, if you uh, have to uh, manage a patient with free light, with smaller myeloma, with free light chain ratio of 100, you have to be very careful and consider many other issues uh, before you start therapy. So you may delay therapy in a large uh, number of your patients, but th this depends very much on your uh, clinical decision-making profile, but it's important just to get this message out that these are not candidate or not everybody with this free light generation of 100 more is a candidate for immediate therapy.